More Parts by Ted Arnold. Things are bad and getting worse. Each day it's something new. With all the stuff I hear about, I don't know what to do. One day I tripped on my red truck and it just fell apart. But when I told my mom, she said, I'll bet that broke your heart. I guess that's possible. Who knows? I don't think mom would lie. I'd better play more carefully. This pillow's worth a try. People say all kinds of things that I don't understand. Like when my dad asked me if I would please give him a hand. I didn't know my hands come off and I don't want them to. So I'll make sure that they stay on with gloves and lots of glue. Our next door neighbor had a joke he wanted us to hear. He said, it's sure to crack you up. I ran away in fear. Who wants to hear a joke like that? Not my idea of fun. I gotta keep my head together. It's my only one. My teacher has me worried too. This happened yesterday. She said to stretch our arms and legs before we go and play. I'm sure she thinks it's good for us, but that's just too bizarre. My arms and legs are long enough. I like the way they are. I know I've got a lot to learn. I'm little and I'm young. But what did grandma really mean when she said, hold your tongue? My tongue's a slimy, jiggly, squishy, slippery little squirt. It'd be my luck to squeeze too hard and lose it in the dirt. So I decided that it's best to stay here in my room cause who knows when some little thing just might lead to my doom. Then mom and dad came in and asked me, why are you upset? I told them all the things I've heard that get me in a sweat. Like coach who says before each game is ready to begin, he gets so nervous that he nearly jumps out of his skin. Or what a friend said recently, it gave me such a fright. He claimed his baby sister screams her lungs out every night. My skin could slip, my head may crack, and I might break my heart. I could lose my lungs, my hands, who knows when it might start. What if quite by accident, my body flies apart? Mom and dad just smiled and looked relieved that I'm okay. And mom explained to me about the things that people say. And though dad laughed, I know he didn't mean to be unkind when he said, for a minute, son. We thought you'd lost your mind. The end.